Le Corbusier, born 1887, was an internationally recognised architect and city planner, who was best known for mixing the functionalism of the modern movement with bold structural expression. Functionalism is the mindset that a building's form should be decided by practical considerations, for example, the use, material, structure. Form follows function, sums up his mindset. Le Corbusier was born in a small town in Switzerland where, at the age of 13, he left primary school to learn how to enamel and engrave watches, his father's trade. One of the teachers at this school, Charles Le Platonier, also taught him art history and drawing. Three years into his watch studies, Le Platonier decided Le Corbusier had what it took to become an architect and so gave him practice via local projects. From 1907 to 1911, Le Corbusier travelled through Central Europe and the Mediterranean, where he made three major architectural discoveries. The first was the Charterhouse of Emma in Tuscany, which provided a contrast between vast collective spaces and individual living cells. This type of design played a vital role when designing residential buildings. The second was when he discovered classical proportion, the adjusting of the size and shape of elements so that they look good in relationship next to each other and to work as a whole. This was found in the Renaissance architecture in the Veneto region of Italy, as well as the ancient sites of Greece. His third architectural discovery was when he was in the Mediterranean and the Balkan Peninsula, where he found multiple geometric forms that he had not previously thought of, as well as the amazing handling of light and the use of landscape as an architectural background. When he was 30 years old, he moved to Paris, where a year later he met painter and designer Amédée Ozenfant. While talking to Ozenfant, Le Corbusier discovered purism, the pure, simple, geometric features of everyday objects while rejecting cubism, complicated abstractions. In 1920, Le Corbusier exhibited a model, the Citrahan House, which displays the five characteristics of what was modern in architecture. Firstly, pillars supporting the structure, the spring of the ground from beneath the building. Secondly is a roof terrace, transformable into a garden and an essential part of the house. Thirdly, an open floor plan. Fourth, a facade free from ornamentation. And lastly, windows in strips that affirm the independence of the structural frame. The interior of the house provides a spatial contrast between open, split-level living spaces and the cell-like bedrooms. An accompanying diorama of the city illustrated ahead of its time the concept of green parks and gardens at the foot of a cluster of skyscrapers. He built a worker city of 40 houses in the style of a Citrahan house, but the lack of local tradition and the unconventional use of colour meant that the municipal authorities refused to provide a public water supply, meaning it was uninhabited for six years. Although Le Corbusier has always been interested in building for large numbers of people, he primarily designed for privileged individuals who commissioned individual houses. His designs incorporated rigorous geometric designs and bare facades. In 1927, he designed, for the first time ever, an office building in Geneva for the United Nations, which was not a neoclassical temple. This video will expand on this design later on. Before World War II, Le Corbusier constructed two important buildings, the Salvation Army Hostel in Paris, with an attempt at a breathing glass wall and an unopenable glass surface equipped with an air conditioning system, which was a technological and financial failure, as well as the Swiss dormitory at the Cite Universitaire in Paris. The latter was a gateway to more expression at work, meaning less functionalism, as the pillars took on a more sculptural value instead of purely structural. In the late 1930s, he built many now famous structures, including the master plans for Algiers and Buenos Aires, the Ministry of Education and Health in Rio de Janeiro, and the infinitely expandable museum in Philipville, North Africa. During World War II, there was no need for new buildings to be erected, so he spent most of his time painting, writing, and reflecting. During this time, he began his modular concept, which is a scale of harmonic measures that set architectural elements in proportion to human stature. This was perfected in 1950 and was used in every building he designed from then on, wishing that the designs were used to incorporate human scale. By this time he was seen as the Picasso of architecture by the public and as a symbol of modernity by architecture students. In 1945 he made a plan for each of the cities Sandai and La Police Rochelle. Regarding Sandai, he proposed moving the 30,000 inhabitants of the destroyed town into five separate skyscrapers. These plans were rejected but circulated worldwide. Later on in his career, he was finally given the opportunity to design a large housing complex in Marseille, named United de Habitation. It was constructed in 1952. It is a community of 1,800 people on 18 floors. The building includes shops, a school, a hotel, as well as a nursery, kindergarten, gym, and theatre on the roof. 
In the early 1960s, he designed the National Museum of Western Art in Tokyo and the Carpenter Visual Arts Centre at Harvard University. Le Corbusier died suddenly while swimming in 1965. The following are five of Le Corbusier's most successful structures. 5. Le Clart. In 1932, Le Corbusier and a Genevan metalsmith industrialist built Le Clart, a structure comprising a steel frame, glass and slabs. Light shows through the glass bricks. The construction material is both rigid and fragile. Le Clart is also called the House of Glass. 4. Notre Dame de Hout. The main structure consists of thick masonry walls, which are curved to improve stability and provide structural support. Built in 1955, the chapel is a working religious building. It attracts around 80,000 visitors each year. The chapel is a simple design with two entrances, the main altar, and three chapels beneath the towers. 3. National Museum of Western Art. This is the premier public gallery in Japan that specialises in art from Western tradition. It received over 1 million visitors in 2016. 2. Unite de Habitation. This measures 165 metres in length, 24 metres in width and 56 metres in height. This structure was built between 1947 and 1951. Other cities' radiuses based on this Marseille model were built in multiple French cities as well as Berlin. 1. Villa Savoy. Based on his Citrohan house, Villa Savoy exemplifies Le Corbusier's five points for new constructions and modern architecture. After surviving several proposals to demolish it, it was designated as a French historical monument in 1965, the year of Le Corbusier's death.